Welcome back. We're going to play this awesome game that you may or may not have heard of called Super Tux Development Version 0.6.3 Beta 1. So, um, yeah, let's try story mode. I forget if I... okay. Apparently I just installed this and I didn't have any save data installed, so... Wow, there's a cute little intro screen with every stage. That's a nice touch. Uh, how do I move? Ah! No! I'm dead. Ah! Oh, space bar to jump. Alright, nice. Alright. Hang on. Bonus blocks can contain coins, power-ups, or special items to help your, your, you in your quest. Hit them from below to gain their contents. Oh, that's spiffy. Yeah, and it's telling me that if I gain one of these, I become Super Tux. Yeah. And this little hint block here uh, makes the egg makes Tux grow larger and smash wooden crates with his head. Now, contrast that to a different a uh, platformer game where you collect coins. Um, where those collected coins, um, or rather the smashed uh, blocks, are smashed by the protagonist's fist, not by their head. Oh, hey, look, we got a fire flower. Or whatever this is called. Uh, so, like, how do we shoot? Control to shoot. Alright. Uh, let's get into this little area. If we can. If we can't, we can't. But if we can, we should. Ah! I'm annoyed! <laughs> Surely there's some way to make it in here. Can I duck? I can squat and jump. Did not know that. I think that's new to this version? Whoa, whoa, whoa. One up. Damn, I missed the one up. Wait, do I have to catch it? The tux gives me a hundred coins. So maybe I don't have to catch it. Maybe I just obtain it. Uh, don't fall on the spikes. But here's, I guess, a bell. Checkpoint. Activate the checkpoint. If you die, you can retry the level from here. Every time you retry from a checkpoint, you lose 10% of your coins. Uh, at least 25. Wait. Oh, this is new? Okay, so I don't accelerate on my fall. Although I did see that they were working on patching that. Um, running. Okay, you can gain some speed before jumping o jumping to pass over the blocks. Whereas if I just do a, a normal jump, that's not enough. But if I run, and then if I press the correct key to jump, there we go. Um, many levels contain secret areas. So we see a little arrow pointing there. So before we hit the goal, let's take the stuff from the secret area. And there's the goal. Hooray! We cleared the stage. We also collected all the coins, didn't defeat all the baddies, and I don't care. A well, fireman's hat. Yeah, that's throwing fireballs. <laughs> yeah, that's some serious job security. So, ideally, I mean, I've got a controller. You would play this on a controller rather than a keyboard. So, if I care about playing all the stages, I probably want to get that set up at some point. But also, this is the development build. I don't really know what surprises are going to be released in the next release. But these stages are more engaging 
more challenging and thoughtful than... I mean, the original stages were challenging, but these, it feels like I'm exploring something. So that's pretty cool. Wait. Okay, so this is a star. Really? A star? You couldn't have given me, like, a fish or something? I think a fish would have thematically worked a little bit better. Anyway. I mean, how can I complain about a free game? I don't know. How high can my standards be for a game that's literally a passion project for some folks? Um, ah! There goes... oh no, there goes all my stuff. Well, that's cool. Is this gonna kill me? Five coins. Alright. We haven't encountered a hidden block yet. Oh, we got 37 of 37. Nice. And there's no secrets in that stage. Uh, should we do one more? This world seems to go on forever if you look at the map, but we could do one more. And yeah, maybe after that call it a break with the development version and wait for the actual 063 Frozen release to come out. <clears throat> See what I did there? Alright, so... Yeah. It's winter time. Uh, everybody's got that sense of humor. Wait, that looks like an ice bridge. I'm gonna chance it. Whee! Alright, that was cool. Can I go down the pipes? Can I hit this guy? Nice. Ah! I didn't know they could climb- oh, crap. Wow, these guys... These levels are getting more intense. This is not just a warm-up. I do find it funny that it says you lose 10% of your coins, but then it also mentions, oh by the way, at least 25. We've not seen any stage that has anywhere near 250 coins in it. So, you're always losing 25, at least until we encounter a stage that has a ridiculous coin count. Okay, I'd rather not hit that ice block, because that would make navigating the slower path challenging. Bye! Okay, we survived that. Ah! Sort of. <laughs> That was spooky. That would be easier to do with a controller than a keyboard. Synchronizing the inputs of directions and jumps. Let's get the spell here. We very well may need it. Although maybe it's more commenting on it'll take from your total coin count, not your level coin count. Gotta say, if that's the case, I'm not such a fan. Seems a bit punitive. I hope in the future they add more items. Uh, Star was cool, the fireman's hat and ice were cool. Alright, this is... Seriously unfair. Oh. 
Just kidding. Um... I mean, it's still unfair, but... At least I can, like, navigate my way out of this somehow. Ah! Crap. How do I get out of here? <laughs> Am I doomed to forever... Whatever. Can I jump this gap? No. On a keyboard, this is too difficult. But also, probably in general, this is too difficult. <laughs> Wait, do I drown if I just sit here? I have no idea. Um, but it looks like I can't escape. Oh, there we go. Just float here. There we go. So I had to, like, hold spacebar to shoot out. Spacebar is the jump key. I guess it also propels me out of the water. So the game kind of forces you to fall into the water without any kind of caution that, you know, penguins do survive in water. Which makes me actually think about other games where the hero does not survive in water. Particularly games where the hero is a plumber and cannot handle water. tried to dodge it and be clever. There's not a hidden path here. I'm disappointed. Alright, are we coming up on the end of the stage? With this... Oh, there is a hidden path. Woo! We found a hidden path. Alright. Cool. Well, those are the first three levels of Super Tux Development Version 0 0.63 Beta 1. So, hopefully folks enjoyed that. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful game, and we look forward to the official release of uh, when it gets out of beta, and like all the new features that many developers from around the world have put together. Um, finally finished testing it, and so forth. Um, yeah, you know, one other thing I see that's kind of new to me is this contrib levels thing. Um, so yeah, apparently there's a whole suite of levels that are bundled with the game that are not the main level pack. And there's also a built-in level editor, so who knows, maybe someday we might see... Um, I don't know, some online level cloud of contributed levels? I'm not sure how that would work, but it'd be fun. So, let's dream. Let's dream big and hope someday it happens. Fun game. Alright, thanks uh, to the many open source and free software developers who make such games possible with their development, coding, or development and art and music and other contributions. Uh, so yeah, this is the credits list, who developed this uh, lovely game. I presume they're going to continue to update this as more and more folks contribute. But yeah, here's the current team. I apologize that on my display these jo uh, titles and such... I mean, they fit on the screen, but I'll be damned if I could read it. Maybe I should make a point to them about that, that, like, they can enlarge the font size just a little bit. Um, cool stuff, though. 
Glad to see some of them have a good sense of humor. Ah, I say even before seeing this comedic picture here. Or maybe he's just an exceptionally patriotic person. You never know. Um, so, I do hope that the music is contributed um, from a free source that doesn't mind sharing it. But, yeah. I guess we'll learn one way or another about uh, the rights of the assets that are developed with the game. I like the sunset and its hue that's provided here. It'd be nice. <laughs> it would be wishful thinking if this uh, scene could animate somehow. I mean, it feels like it's growing darker, but I don't know if it is. But, like, if this could pass from day to night, or you could see some sort of any kind of effect that transitions on the credit screen. I think people would hover here more. Um, is it possible to navigate around on this credit screen? No. Uh, the arrow keys don't do anything here. But yeah, it could also be fun if you could just like free float around or whatever on the credit screen. Instead of just gently appreciating um, this game for what it is. So, I am impressed just how many people contribute to this. It takes a lot of people to make such a great project, unless you meet one or two exceptionally obsessed folks that, like, put their heart and soul and life and blood into it. Um, but, yeah. Usually it takes a large team to make anything great. Ah, so as I was mentioning, yeah, apparently the sunset is actually animating. So... I appreciate that. It's a nice little touch. Huh. Interesting to see some people's names not represented with ASCII characters. Uh, it makes sense that if you have contributions from around the world, you could have folks write their names in all sorts of different languages. Um, unfortunately, some of the Japanese characters don't render. That's regrettable. Maybe I just need to install the correct font for that to work? Or maybe that's being worked on. Maybe that's why this is still in beta. There's a lot that... Oh, wow. How many languages is this game translated into? I know people like Super Tux. I guess we're in the letter S section of the credits for language translation. So there's Turkish... Ukrainian, Uzbek, Vietnamese. Okay, special thanks to Larry Inglink, creator of Tux, the Linux Penguin, SDL, OpenAL, OpenGL, and you, the player, for enjoying the game. And you can visit their website, their forum, look at typographical errors, let them know about them, want to help with localization, or something else. Thank you for playing Super Tux. Perry Penny awaits you and warmer temperatures. Yes, indeed, your object in this game is to rescue Penny, in case that was not clear. Alright, well that was fun. Hope we enjoyed that.